Good morning, St. Bridget family. Welcome to our 1030 Mass. Today the music will be led by these wonderful young people, the Young Voices Choir, uh, and they'll be singing and also chiming on the first, uh, on the first song. Uh, we welcome you today and we ask at this point in time if you could take a moment to silence your cell phones, put them on mute so they don't ring out loud during the Mass. Uh, the songs that we'll be singing today will be coming mostly from the gather, but we are singing a beautiful song called Grateful for our offertory, and it is found in the spirit and song. So I hope you have access to both of those hymnals. I don't believe that the lyrics are on site this weekend, so I apologize for that, but it w just once in a while that happens. So we thank you for your presence. We also ask that those of you with little ones, if you... Uh, have a, a situation where they might need to calm down. We do have a wonderful cry room available uh, for your use, and uh, there is a restroom in there, and you can hear the sound uh, and what is going and see what is going on during the mass as well. Our opening song is found in the Gather Hymnals. It is number 744. Please turn to that, and we will sing verses one, two, and three of Gather Us In. Please stand and join in song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the presence of the God who loves us and forgives us and is always waiting for us, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what, what I have done and what, what I have failed to do. To through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O oh God, who founded all the commands of the sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. No, I'm sorry. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me is Christ and death is gain. If I go on living in the f flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. And I do not know which I shall choose. I'm caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. 
Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy, in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, you too go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off, and he went off again around noon, and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around and said to them, why? Do you stand here idle all day? They answered, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, summon the laborers and give them the pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the daily wage. So when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner saying, these last ones worked only one hour and you have made them equal to us who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, my friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give the last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious that I am generous? Thus, the last will be first and the first will be last the Gospel of the Lord. Today's gospel is very difficult to understand because we have this American mentality uh, that everything is based on merit. Yeah? How is it possible that somebody who comes to work late and, and works a little bit 
gets the same wage than the one who is working earlier and, and, and doing more. That's our mentality, so it is difficult to understand the gospel. I had to go to other sources besides the Bible to understand this. And today we are here celebrating that all of us receive the same salary, God's love. God's love is a salary for those who come early, for those who come late, for those who come at noon or in the afternoon. The salary is the same, God's love. Wonderful. The Lord loves me as much as he loves those young ones playing there in, in, in the choir. You see how God calls us? Early, late, in the evening, because I will be 60 soon, that's evening, right? And we get the same salary, God's love. And it is difficult for us to understand that because uh, his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts, says the first reading. And many times we make mistakes because of our ways and thoughts. I remember when I went to the seminary, I was 25, and I couldn't go earlier because I needed my formal education, and I didn't have that formal education. I went to seventh grade when I was 19. So I was late not because I wanted to be late, I was late because life was treating me in that way. And I entered the seminary, and some of the seminarians there, I remember, some were very ugly. I came first than you. So, you are here to serve me. And they were 15, 16, 17, 12, no, 13. I remember one entered the seminary at 12. He was 13 when I entered the seminary. Serve me. I came earlier than you. What happens in our communities? The church belongs to me. Because my parents and grandparents built it. You are new. You are not going to tell us how to do things. What happens with the immigrants? You are coming to enjoy what we built. In this case, maybe we are right in some regards, yeah? Because my idea is you, governments in Latin America, give them education, give them jobs, give them opportunities, end the violence. But still, we have to embrace them, as the, the opening prayer said. May we love you and love our neighbors. God's love is a salary. And it is the same, the same salary for all of us. It is hard to understand that. It is hard to accept that. But God is clear in today's first reading, your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your ways are not my ways.
is about generosity, love, not about merit, says the Lord. And in order to, in order to understand this, I, I went to read uh, the Bible, yes? Jeremiah was called early. You called me from the womb of my mother. Samuel, David, Moses. Abraham was old. Who else was called very early? Mary herself. John the Baptist, early. Abraham, very late in his life. The prophets, the apostles, in their 40s or 50s or 60s. And everyone received the same salary, God's love. Why do we have problems to, to accept this, this offer, this, this gift of salvation, this gift of eternal, eternal life, God's love? I read St. Augustine yesterday. St. Augustine, who said, Late have I loved you, Lord. Late have I loved you. You were in me, but I was outside trying to find you. And I loved your creatures, your creation, and I didn't love the creator in me. Lord, late have I loved you. Saint Augustine. But finally, he found God. And he says something very important. You were in me, and I was outside. You were with me, but I was not with you. But God is always there, offering us the salary, his love. You were with me, but I was not with you. That reminds me, the prodigal son, the older brother. Father, you are unfair. Why are, why are you killing this, this uh, uh, cow or whatever to make some barbecue here for my brother who is a sinner? Father, you are unfair. And the father said, son, you have been with me always, and all what is mine is yours. The problem for the older brother is the same problem Augustine had. You were with me, but I, I was not with you. God's love. The absence of God's love in our hearts and souls and minds makes us say, you are unfair. Why are you giving the sinner the same you give me? You are unfair. And he says, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Are you jealous? Envious because I am good? God's love is the salary. And St. Paul says in the second reading today, I have your love. If I die, it's okay. If I live, it's okay. I would prefer to die, to be with Jesus already, but if you want me here in this world, that's okay. I'm here. As long as I have your love in myself. Not long ago, in the two, one, two weekends ago, St. Paul said, if we live, we live for the Lord. If we die, we die for the Lord. 
God's love makes us say that. Teresa de Avila, the great saint, the great doctor of the church, the master of prayer. I want to die. I want to die now. Your love is so great, so big. I want to die now. Since she was from Spain, and Pope John Paul II learned Spanish to read Teresa de Avila, we have to say what she said in Spanish. Wonderful. Muero porque no muero. Your love is consuming me. Muero porque no muero. I want to die now. The salary. God's love. And everybody deserves, not only deserves, has a right to enjoy that love, that salary. And we celebrate in this church that many people are called early. Look. But we celebrate that many of you, many of us, give them the opportunity, the chance to experience God's love. Catechists, parents, the director of the choir. I can imagine how much you suffer to play just the opening song today. Because I did it before, you know. And I promise I will never do it again. <laughs> yeah, we have talked about it. And many people come here, and, and every day many people come here, and I, and I told the, the staff, keep the church open. Open. So people can come here. If they don't want to come to the Blessed Sacrament Chapel, they come here. Because they are looking for God's love. And it is sad, it is a tragedy for me to hear people saying, Father, I want to die because nobody loves me. Because I don't love anybody. Because I'm not happy at work. I'm not happy at home. I'm not happy in this world, Father, I want to die. That is sad. And they leave the church and I'm praying for them here because they were serious when they said, I want to die. Nobody loves me. I love nobody. And the salary is here. There. And like St. Augustine, we don't see it. Because he is with us, but we are not with him. Because we think that we don't deserve that love. Since 
Salvation is based on merit, not on his generosity and love. So there is a lot of work to do everywhere <coughs> because nobody can live without that salary, that, that's love. So may the Lord open our hearts and souls and our church to embrace everyone who comes here to, to practice the faith, to do something for others, to find some consolation, to find some guidance. May the Lord move us to give them some guidance, some. And may the Lord make them feel the great salary many of us enjoy every day, God's love. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten and unmade, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice and turn to the Lord in His strength, His strength, constantly seeking His face. The teachers of the church may present the miraculous and stupendous love of God with great joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord that business leaders who confuse generosity with competition may find the freedom to give and not count the cost. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all those who labor on the land might be nourished. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers that there may be, more, may be more equitable distribution of the world's food supply. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all priests be renewed in their ministry to bring Christ to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have gone before us in faith may be embraced by the loving arms of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We bow our heads and remember the prayers in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. In every age, O oh God, you have called forth men and women to spread the, the good news of salvation. Instill in us the virtue of charity for the well-being of all our sisters and brothers that they, may, they might come to know your kindness and rejoice in the salvation you have promised. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. The song for the preparation and presentation of gifts is found in the Spirit and Song Hymnals at number 242, number 242, Grateful.
my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we have lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and made them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously may holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, he broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, 
we offer you, offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Bridget, Teresa d'Avila, St. Francis of Assisi, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Gustavo Garcia Siller, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Father, Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Father, today we pray for the sick, Maria Travis, Carol Smith, Jerry Oates. We pray for all our sisters and brothers who feel abandoned, in the world. Father, fill their hearts with faith, hope, and love. And to our departed sisters and brothers, Father, we pray for all our deceased relatives and friends, and Lola Vallejo, Ned Gates, Kimberly Manuel. And we pray also in thanksgiving for the Perez family. And we pray for all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give them kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy, to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray the Our Father at the command and divine teaching of Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Behold, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I will worry that I should enter in my world. The song for Holy Communion is Gather, number 850, number 850. We come to your feast.
Thank you, Father Gilberto, for allowing me to speak this morning. Good afternoon. Most of you already know who I am, but for those who don't know me, I'm Mike Boucher. I'm a volunteer with the St. Vincent de Paul Food Pantry here at St. Bridget. You may have heard during the past year about the Evian bird flu and the impact on the availability of eggs, chickens, and now turkeys. For Thanksgiving, we have always counted on receiving enough turkeys from the food bank to distribute to families who come to our food pantry. However, this year the food bank has told us they do not have enough turkeys to distribute to our food pantry. In two of the last three months, we have provided food to over 200 families each month. Our budget will not allow us to purchase turkeys from any outside source at market price. In the past, you, our fellow parishioners, have been very giving. So we are here again reaching out to you to help us to provide a 10 to 15 pound turkey to these families. We have already purchased the trimmings to go along with these meals. If you can help, please stop by at our table in the narthex and either provide funds or pledge a turkey and to advise us what weekend you'll be able to deliver the turkey prior to Thanksgiving. Thank you and God bless. Thank you. Tom. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in misery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our holy mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ, proclaiming the good news of the gospel. Thanks be to God. Our closing song is in Gather at number 522, Glory and Praise to Our God. We'll sing verses one and three this morning. And uh, I apologize, I forgot to mention to you that this mass was live streamed. Um, and so uh, we were training some new live stream folks. So those of you parents and grandparents who are here and brought these lovely young people to us today to sing, maybe you can have a look at that later on. Thank you. <laughs> 